Did you know you can further streamline your workflows by setting up automations in monday.com? Simply choose from pre-made templates or customize your own automations to ultimately save time and streamline systems in your organization. Hey guys, Stuart here, thanks for joining me and welcome along to this channel if it's your first time here. Now in this monday.com tutorial for beginners, I'm excited to share how you can use automations by simply leveraging pre-made automations and creating your own automations from scratch to fit your specific workflow requirements. Okay, so before we dive into monday.com, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and create simple automations yet effective automations in monday.com. <music> Okay, so let's get started with automations inside monday.com. Now, as you can see, we're already inside our monday.com account. We have our main workspace selected. And as you can see, we've selected our customer projects board for the purpose of today's tutorial. And as you can see within our project board, we have active projects and we also have finish projects. And within each of these two groups, we have our tasks. Now to locate automation, simply navigate up to the top right hand corner and click on automate. Now it's important to note that if you want to make the most out of automations, then you do need to upgrade to at least the standard plan within monday.com. Okay, so before we create our first automation, it's important to understand the terminology of automations within monday.com. Now your automations are made up of a trigger, a condition now you can have multiple conditions and an action or you can have multiple actions so basically the trigger initiates the automation the condition allows you to identify what you are changing and the action is the result that is produced from your automation now if we navigate over to the left hand side what we can do is select a pre-made template a pre-made automation from the category on the left hand side for example if we select status change here we can identify pre-made automation templates that we want to use in our board for example let's say that i wanted to use this automation template when status changes to something move item to group so if you wanted to use a template simply click use template i'm going to go ahead and use this template here so for this automation what i would do first is navigate up to status now this is the trigger that's going to initiate this automation so for example what i want to do is actually select status by clicking here and then coming down and clicking status then what i want to do is when status changes to something if i click on something i can navigate down and click done now when status changes to done then move item to group so what i want to do is click on group and remember within our project board we have two groups we have active projects and finished projects so what i want to do is select finished projects and as you can see we've completed this simple automation when status so this is the trigger changes to done which is the condition then move item to finished projects which is the action and then when we're ready to create the automation all we would do is click create automation however what we can do is take this automation a step further by simply navigating over to this plus icon and clicking here and then over here what we can do is simply select an additional action so at the moment we have a trigger we have a condition and then we have an action over here however we can also add and then do this. So what is the other action that we want to be produced from this automation? We can either select from these options or we can come down and view more options. And I want to select notify because when status changes to done, then move item to finished projects, I also want to notify someone. So what I'm going to do is click notify. And then if we click on notify, we can go ahead and customize a message to notify an individual. 
And as you can see, I've quickly created a custom notification. And down here, you can auto populate fields from your board. So I'm happy with our custom notification. Then what we need to do is select someone. Here you want to add who is going to be notified. What we're gonna do is click team member and then just select myself for the purpose of this tutorial. And as you can see, we now have one trigger, one condition and two actions. And you also have the option to delete your stages that you've created. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and click create automation and show you how this will work in real time. What I'm gonna do is click create automation. And as you can see, we have one active automation on this board. What I'm gonna do is exit out of this and that's gonna take us back to our board. Now for this specific item, this task over here, what I'm gonna do is change the status to done. And just like that, you can see that this item, this task that we just completed and changed the status to done has automatically been moved to our finish projects group. And then if I navigate up to notifications on the left hand side and click here, you can see that the automation down here that I created has sent me a notification. The campaign management has been completed. Okay, so if we exit out of this and navigate back over to automate over on the right hand side and then navigate over to automation center, what you wanna do is take the time to go through all these different categories for pre-made automations that you can simply customize the way that you want. And once you get the hang of it, what you can do is create a custom automation completely from scratch by simply clicking create custom automation. And here you can choose your own trigger, conditions, and actions that you want to create. Now I'm going to cover automation dependencies. So what we're gonna do is navigate up to back to automations, and then simply exit out of automations. Then simply scroll across your board and add an additional column by navigating over to add column. Then come down and locate more columns. Then in the search bar, type in dependency. And under board power up, we have dependency. What we're gonna do is add to board and then come down and click connect columns. Now, remember a dependency is when one task is reliant on another task to be completed first. So for example, under active projects, you can see that we have these three tasks, these three items that are dependent on each other. So once the website is created, then we can review the website and once the website has been reviewed, then we can launch the website. So what we would do is navigate over to dependencies on the far right hand side and click here and then come down and I would select review website because this item, this task is reliant on the website being reviewed first. And then if we locate the task review website and navigate over to dependency and click here, Reviewing the website is going to be dependent on once the website has been created. So we're gonna select here. And then again, for create a website, we could select here. And then creating the website could be dependent on completing the logo design first. And I'm happy with my dependencies. Then what we can do is navigate up to automate and click on automation center and locate dependencies on the far left hand side. And for example, what I could do is navigate over to this automation. When a status changes to something, change the status of its dependency to something. So if I click add to board, I can again navigate up to a status and click status. Then when status changes to something, I can click on something and come down to done, change the status of its dependency and click on dependent on to something and I can click on something and come down to working on it. So basically this automation will change the status of the dependent on task to working on once the first task has been completed and changed to done. So let's go ahead and view this example by clicking add to board and then navigating up to exit. And if I come down to this task, this item, create a website, and click on the status and select done. You can see that based on our first automation that we created, that task will be moved into our group finished projects. And you can see that item or task down here 
And if we navigate over to the left hand side, you will see the notification based on our first automation that had two actions. Then if I exit out of this, you can see that the status has changed to working on it because the dependency has been completed. And now we can start working on this item, this task. And then again, if we complete this review website task and we change the status to done, then the launch website task will automatically change the status to working on. Let me show you by selecting here and coming down and clicking done for this task. And just like that, you can see that the launch website task, the status has changed to working on it. So I hope that makes sense and this tutorial can help you get started with automations in monday.com. And there we have it guys, that is it for this monday.com tutorial for beginners, helping you get started with automations. Now, if you have any questions about creating automations, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. And that way I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.